Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we are here with, I'm afraid to say it, but it, it's really here. It's Kowali Zoo, and I am joined Woo! by the lovely, lovely Eben. Aww. Welcome. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I, I do have to say right before we start, because I was sharing your video on my community wall for, for the past two weeks. And at some <laughs> point, uh, someone was like, wait, um, why is the next episode on your channel? And I was like, right, OK, maybe it's been so long that there are tons <laughs> of people watching right now that have no idea about Kuali Zoo, which probably sounds really weird for you too even but <laughs> it, it, there are still people out there that have no idea what koali zoo and i think it's also us to blame for the long periods of time for not uploading yeah, anything it's <laughs> see the thing is and and it's not that we don't want to build in koali it's just oh, definitely with, not it's with every project it's the same thing once you get to like the fit almost to the finish line and i'm not saying like we're right at the finish line but we're getting close to it <laughs> the closer you get to it you also notice like oh we still need to do this and we need to do that and we need to do this <laughs> and most of those things are not really the fun uh things that we need to do um mm, that, so that's so true <laughs> <laughs> so so it, it does often happen that we need to like okay that we're like okay i'll do this but i'll need like three weeks to get this done because <laughs> <laughs> well honestly it's also definitely me to blame because what was the pack before this one uh, the wetlands pack the wetlands pack yeah indeed. okay <laughs> i said with the wetlands pack you know what let me take quali too i will make <laughs> the next episode i will i will do that and then i just I just didn't have time for it. I don't know what happened, but uh, well, only two months later, we already got the conservation pack <laughs> announced. And then you were like, even like, you know what? Give me, give me the fire. Give me the fire. I'm going to build. I was like, yes, yes. Okay, you, you take it. And I will promise after that, I will take Wally Sue and I will make an episode. And then and I was here we building are. in it. <laughs> I was finally building in it, and then my computer fried. Yeah, there was like someone in the last episode, and he placed down like so many pieces, mm -hmm. and you fried your computer. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Most certainly, Mike. Most certainly, Mike. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> you guys, you should all go to to even, but also. For, for anyone that is new watching right now, it's not only me and Eben, it's not. It's also <laughs> Mike Sheets, it's also Rudy Ramkemmel, and well, Silverette, kind of ish <laughs> still. No, but but uh, it, it is a collaboration too between yes. the five of us. And while well, Rudy is now on a holiday, uh, Silva's still working, Mike is working, and he's like from America. So it's always, always a little bit harder to plan something with Mike, which is totally fine. Um, but no, we are no it isn't. Point. Mike, get better at planning. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mike. But Mike, you know, Mike has his own qualities. Like, Mike is really good at deleting other people. <laughs> <laughs> and rebuilding it. Really uh, true. true. May, and may, even too. <laughs> maybe we should continue because if we, we keep talking about Mike, we'll just keep bashing him and we'll... <laughs> I love Mike. You guys know that. I, but, he's, uh, but, but <laughs> he's one of my best friends. I think yeah. he's actually like my best friend. Aww. So he's the greatest. He he's really he has great his guy. moments. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, for everyone that is new to Kuali Zoo, please do make sure to uh, follow everyone in the description and of course Eben, so you guys will uh, stay up to date with Kuali Zoo. Yes. We will do our best to make more episodes. I'm not gonna say every week, but we will do our best to make them more frequently at least. Exactly. Uh, Rudy yes. has already claimed the file. I have claimed the file after him, so like <laughs> so the ball has started fights. rolling. <laughs> <laughs> gonna be fine uh, so what we're looking at right now is uh is not what i did to do new i just wanted Ooh. to give you guys a little peek in how this area that i worked on was before i jump into the new file uh, i did not change everything right over here i did mostly change 
the whole inside of this mm-hmm. koala habitat. Uh, so just to give you guys an idea of how it was. Uh, but I also did add another animal. Oh. And uh, that is where uh, this spot comes in handy. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> there wasn't much here. Um, it, it's pretty empty. But yeah. I just wanted to give you guys a glimpse because it's been so long for how it was. And mm-hmm. I think we should now just go and load uh, the new file and uh, show you guys what it, it has become. Yeah, see you all in 15 minutes because that's how long it takes <laughs> to load the file. Bye. <laughs> I will make sure to cut it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Five <Okay>. years later. <gasps> it, it might, Fifty minutes later. <laughs> I, I, I oh. don't know. I hope, I hope you guys can see the difference. <laughs> oh yes. We do have a new climbing frame with these wooden pieces that I actually barely use, but oh, they I love look it. so natural. Okay, this is really well. Done. Oh, and I also really like the modes. Um, yes, so this is a little bit inspired of the uh, koala exhibit at the Conrad Priebus yes. Pre- Australian Outback, San Diego Zoo. Oh, cool. Uh, I, I think, yeah, San yes, San Diego Zoo is, um, but <laughs> a, a little bit. So so this mo indeed, and like, like the orange colors, which just mm-hmm. match really, really nicely with, the, well. with yeah. the rest. And we had like this pretty ugly and simple... Um, a, a wall of, of stones here in the back. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I actually made this this frame first uh, for like this enrichment item. Uh-huh. But I, I felt like I needed something higher. You know that feeling yeah, sometimes yeah. where you just have like, no, it's, it's just not right. <laughs> <laughs> so instead of this one, I put this big tree in the middle again, <laughs> which, which was somewhere in the Hamas head. Uh, but it, I think it works to have that frame around it. It works super well. And the thing that I like the most is like, it, it gives the vibe that like there was the moat used to have water and now it no longer has which is some mm-hmm. one of the things that zoos sometimes are doing because they are noticing like okay okay sometimes animals can like drown because of these moats mm-hmm. so I, well I, you don't want a koala to drown exactly exactly so well, koalas can't swim by the way <laughs> i remember them swimming at my safari boat ride and i was like jeez what, what? <laughs> <laughs> so annoying in front of the boat. I actually did not put all of them in here, uh, but there is one koala in here. Yeah, I can see it in the background. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and this is also changed. So, so yes, okay, the rocks are gone. Okay. I, I, this bench was here, and I used it to build around it, <laughs> basically. It's great. So now we have this more open viewing. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I will it. later p- tell what I still wanted to change. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or what I'm not happy with for now. Hey, but, but like, we... I can I just say? Yes. Uh, if you look at if you if anyone goes back in the video and comes back to this, like, the improvement is massive. Like. Yeah. It's insane I... how well this is is done. Really? Well, thank you. Um, but I, I think definitely, I, w- I was telling you while we were waiting for 15 minutes for Nepal <laughs> to open. <laughs> like, you can really tell, like, we, we didn't have any aquatic rocks back uh-huh. then or like the new grads and stuff. Um, I, I almost would like to go back to all the habitats that I built before, like, way back and just uh, redo it. Almost, everyone. Almost. Almost. <laughs> almost. Uh, because it it really, it really can look so much better. And also just in general, like, I, I feel like my building skills have also oh, improved yeah. by the time. I think um, that's, I think that's like really, really visible. Like, I'm <laughs> like, you, you've really improved in the, in the past few months, past few yeah. years. And it's insane. But also because I'm taking more time. I yeah. feel like the more time you take, yeah. the yeah, the better it will become. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. You, you, you or Mike need to help. Because 
this. I, I just can't. I, I just can't do this. I just have no idea how to make that. So <laughs> <laughs> you see, I need help with the pathing here. Uh, because uh, the, pathing tool. the pathing tool is... is is no one's best friend, let's admit. No, <laughs> but I just want a two meter wide one. Like, just give me a standard two meter wide path and I will be so happy. Okay, but so yeah. so Rudy is currently asking us to say, lady is always right and even uses enough pieces. I don't know what the context <laughs> of this is, but Rudy, here you go. <laughs> he actually says out okay, of context, Rudy. camel. <laughs> so, we love you too, Rudy. <laughs> we love you too, Rudy. <laughs> Um, oh wait! Oh, but okay. So you can tell, like the canopies. I did not change anything around here. I like this. I was those. like, I, I like this. I think I'm not work. gonna change that. Yeah. But okay, as I said, Ooh. there is a building added, and I did have quite some struggles with the exterior. So, mm -hmm. uh, Mike or you, feel free <laughs> uh, no, to. Well, I, I, I don't think you want to demolish it because it's a I'll... mess. I'll add like a thousand decal pieces and yes, uh, that's yes. gonna work. <laughs> well, I actually totally forgot to add decals. <laughs> that's so <laughs> stupid. Like why did I forget? Like that would have probably changed a lot already. Okay, that's but... so weird that I didn't think of that. Okay, but I've been looking looks... at this building for so long. Like what can I do? <laughs> but I think it's okay. I think it's okay. The exterior doesn't have to be super flashy because this draws mm -hmm. you in. And I think that's the best thing possible. Like, like the the building itself doesn't have to be super fancy because yeah. this this view really draws you in, and that's like the thing that you want. This yeah, okay, really... but but definitely what you're saying, like decals, is a thing. Yeah. Uh, decals uh, would have probably changed my feeling about like I just don't know what to do with this <laughs> exterior. But uh, yeah. I, 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 it will be fine. It will be fine. Yeah. The longest work that I've been doing was on the inside of this building. Like, I'm obviously, so this curious. is not only koala. So um, uh, we have this little building right over here, mm -hmm. which also do needs a little bit of work on the inside because the guests can walk in here. Mm hmm. And they can look down oh. and see a little glimpse here of the koalas. But I think it would be fun to have some kind of climbing frame yeah. or, or something that would like raise them and make them a little bit more uh, closer to the guest or something like that. Um, but this is obviously not the main feature of this building. I also, I really, really love, and it's a feature I like to include as well. I really love the combination of glass and chain link i really love that that's super uh, cool i i it, it reminded me which actually doesn't make any sense for a zoo but you know like these how you call that like these these doors especially made for oh, like yeah, yeah. fire uh -huh. and for some reason uh, something or like not made for a fire but <laughs> like old fire or whatever uh -huh. uh, and this somehow reminded me of that <laughs> and i don't know why and I thought, like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it. I, I, I think it's I like it's it. funny. It looks, it looks really good. I... I, I'm glad you like it. Um, so we have a little information stand here. Ooh. Um, this um can also change. Like, <laughs> there I was like no, no, ten it's... hours of time building the rest of this building, <laughs> and at some point, this was like the last bits and pieces together with like this this exterior being like, oh. I'm just a little bit out of inspiration. Uh, so okay, now here we go. Here we go. This oh. is the um, this is what I have been working on for a long time. <laughs> Lady, come on! This is amazing. Um, this is the the platypus habitat. A little bit inspired uh, of the same platypus habitat that I used for my city zoo, but okay. I just really love the idea. Oh. So we have an underwater viewing gallery under uh uh like like so wow um they should be able to use this they're pretty tiny so it should be good they wow. have this little open door right over here oh i love that in the back so the guests will not be able to see a lot backstage because backstage is a mess <laughs> <laughs> you do not want to see that i'm not good at backstage but this was just how do i make this all work 
Um, so yeah, it's small, but with a lot of small little details. Not entirely happy with the waterfall, but it's so good. I I think it it can be cool if there is a platypus swimming. Actually, uh -huh. <laughs> I really like it. Like this this underwater scenery is super good. Like, you like seriously. That? Thank you. Oh god, the lag. <laughs> Auto <laughs> <just> save. <laughs> Oh gosh, yes, no, it, it should be good. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, it took quite some time to make this all work. And then on uh -huh. the other side, uh, there is this more yeah flat area. Uh -huh. We have two burrows here. Ooh. And there is also a little bit more of like shallow water for them to swim in as well. So the guests could potentially see them swim yeah. from the top. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot. I actually wanted to add like the uh, webcams oh. connected to these burrows oh, yeah. and have like this educational uh, wall here or something like that. It's but still... I actually totally forgot about that. But this does look amazing. Like, I also really like the um, the burrows that are like part of the tree because, oh, okay, I'm I'm a sucker I'm a sucker for that, and I I already said that was not intentional, and I was like, oh my god, that looks perfect. I already I, I did already, not plan that. I already said that like in the last episode, um, that in in Mike's um, in Mike's orangutan um, building, he also had like the the. Um, I'm, I'm losing words here. The monorail passed by. <laughs> and see, they passed by again. And I love that. I'm sorry. It's, it's, so such cool. a, it's such a stupid little detail. I know. But I love that so much. Yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, it's being a sucker for little, small little <laughs> details. But I, that's why I love this game so much. Like, sometimes you're yeah. just surprised by that little corner or that light just coming yeah, through like, exactly. a, like a tree or anything. And you're just like, oh, that's just so good. Yes. Um, I do do have to admit, I'm not really sure if this feeder will ever be filled <laughs> because the keeper is not able to reach this. Yeah, but I noticed that keepers in the wetlands update, so that's 1.9, are now yeah. capable of like filling... From the door, right? From the door, yeah. So I don't know if they... I know that they can spawn food right next to animals if they can't reach the animal themselves. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if that works. also works for um, for these. I, can't, I can't even click it. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> I don't know if it's ever been used. There's too much um, in it. But, but I hope that if it's not the case, then I hope that Frontier can, could change that, that if a yeah. certain feeding option isn't available, isn't reachable, that they can just like do it from like, like for definitely oh for sandbox mode, yeah, like exactly. we 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 want to have complete freedom in what we do sometimes and just mm -hmm. build something that pr basically looks similar as a real zoo, but mm, because of the system or like because of a traversable area, it's not possible. But like if this would be real life, like it. In fact, like a zookeeper would just be able to stand here and oh, just yeah. throw in the food. Like sometimes, yeah. I, I, at least for sandbox mode, I just really hope mm -hmm. that they can uh, uh, change these kind of things. If it doesn't really work, maybe it doesn't really look uh, as realistic. Like, uh, let me just like if I would have added the speed build, um, which I didn't because I was way too long <laughs> then you would have seen how this would all be working from the back side <laughs> <laughs> okay so this is a, like the um like a water effect because oh. of the waterfall uh but there is like this uh platform right oh. here in the back and then they are able to walk <laughs> underneath oh. oh it's sleeping oh there he yeah. is uh, I should, I could basically close this off, but this is also just a little bit more area for the platypus, I guess. Oh, are you going for a swim? Oh, that would be really cool if you would. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yes, is... there is a keeper's gate right over here. <laughs> this kind of feels, this kind of feels like the, <laughs> like the same thing like we had with the, um, with the jaguars that we wanted to see them dive and we were like, okay, are you going into the water? Are you going? Please? <laughs> Oh, it's going to. Oh, it's turning around. around, of oh, course. <laughs> that's why I wasn't.
was like, I'm not even gonna watch you. Like, I will see it later if you are going to use this. Uh, so yeah, the keepers are basically not able to to walk through here. Mm -hmm. Like, they have this little cave here. And, and the platypus is able to walk here, like, everywhere. Uh, but yeah, the keepers are not able to fill any feeders or anything like that. But it is sandbox mode, so... Oh, there we go. Oh, there it, they would not die or anything, yeah. which is already a good thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so, so those kind of oh. things are not... Work. And I just don't feel like like it would make such a big mm -hmm. open area again if you would want to make it work for the just the keeper to be able to walk here or yeah, to go exactly. to the other side. So I am, uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy. It it really caused me some blood, sweat, and tears, but <laughs> it was it really a lot of fun. It's see, and that's the thing you can, and I've I've said this to you way too many times already, but I'm going to repeat it. <laughs> you can actually see that you had a lot of fun building this. And yes. That's that's the thing that I'm always saying to everyone, like as long as you're having fun, you don't need to place down like ten like hundreds of decal pieces. You don't need mm -hmm. to make super intricate complicated builds. You can do whatever you want as long as you're having fun. And you can True. clearly see in this build that you were having a lot of fun and it really, it really Except shows. for the outside and this part. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. It's 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 it doesn't have to be super fancy. It's it's really good. I really love the koala exhibit and I also really love the Thank interior. You. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy you like it. Hopefully Mike will like it too instead of <laughs> I'll make demolishing him like it. it all. <laughs> I'll make him like it. Feel free it. to add a little bit here and there, of course. <laughs> yeah, but I think I think it's I think it's fine. I think it's it, it can perfectly work. Like this building doesn't need to be super fancy because it, it can blend in with like the, yeah, I, I need to add forest. some more trees and stuff here to also make yeah. it blend in a little bit more in the edges. Those kind of things I forgot. Just like the decals. Uh, but, well, it, it's, this... It's really well done. I, I stand Thank by you. this. I, I think <laughs> if you if you go back to, to the first part of the video and you go, come back to this, you can clearly see how much you've your the building difference. style has improved, how cool yeah. this looks. These climbing frames are absolutely insane. I really love them. I really like the combination mm -hmm. of like the wood pieces and the rope pieces. Really, really well done, lady. Really Thank love you. <laughs> Thank you, Eben. You guys, for everyone that watched the last episode on Eben his channel, uh, like which was like the Siamang's habitat, which <laughs> I absolutely love. Um, but I already was like a little bit nervous being like, oh my goodness, now I need to uh, build something as well in Koali. Koali and I just need to do something that comes a little bit close to it the does. stuff that it these guys does. do, which is just absolutely ridiculous. If you missed <laughs> this one, please do go and watch the whole episode because it's yeah. insane. Same. Oh. I just love, love, love the audio. Okay, <laughs> but uh, no. But seriously, and and I was really like, I need to, I need to push myself to make something that hopefully even and, and Mike, if he would be here, also really like and be like, oh, lady, you really did a good job on this. <laughs> so you absolutely I did. did. You absolutely did. <laughs> Thank you. <Really? laughs> Uh, so much. for everyone that has no idea, like I'm, we're not going to tour Kuali. I know, like <laughs> on their almost every zoo episode of Kuali, it's like, oh, can you tour it? Uh, no, we're gonna tour it once it's completely finished, and then it's probably gonna take us three hours or so. <laughs> like I, I think, I think it should be kind of our our objective to at least finish it by the end of the year. So like. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm making sweep, sweeping declarations. You'll get your <laughs> tour at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, we should at least try. But seriously, this is like even says, yeah, we need to finish like the last bits and pieces. And I was like, you kidding? There is like a whole Ferris wheel in I the am back not here. And someone thought, oh, yeah, that's part of finishing the zoo. <laughs> I am not responsible for everything Mike does. I am simply not responsible. You're am... probably seeing a lot that I'm not even allowed to show, but you guys, you deserve to see what 
has been going on around here. <laughs> it's <laughs> ridiculous, and it's it's gorgeous. Every angle, yeah. it looks finished. Like just looking yeah. from here. Yeah, if you it, if you don't zoom out too much and you don't look at the big cat area, then it looks almost. Let's finished. zoom out too much. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, for real. I, I understand, like, this is... What episode is this? 48 or something? Uh, 46, because I think that I miscounted last time. And oh, is... okay. So, okay, 40-something. 40, 40 <laughs> Somewhere at the end 46, of the 40s. 46, yeah. So, uh, there is a lot. There are a lot of episodes, <laughs> which you can all watch if you have not seen it yet, to... Uh, get a glimpse of what we have been doing in the zoo there has been a lot that has been demolished in later episodes and has been rebuilt or replaced <laughs> uh but it's just fantastic like ah the sylph sylph his architecture and then like so the extra details of of you and mike yeah and uh, this I was I wanted to see what what happened here with the waterfalls. <laughs> there was like this this beautiful colorful tiled wall with integrated <laughs> waterfalls and it was just gone. Yeah, I don't know when I missed that. <laughs> that that was in um the last episode before mine, so that was like 6 months ago. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. I I <sighs> Mike, yeah, this was Mike's doing. He uh, he moved it, the tiled um, fountain. Oh, tiled waterfall thing. Yeah. Oh, um, man. But yeah. It's, it's so beautiful. This huge aviary of Rudy. But also, wait, what happened with the temple again? The orangutan temple. That has been changed a lot ever since. It, it, like, it keeps, everything keeps changing in this file. Oh, like, wait, that's right over here. Every time we're like, yeah, can we maybe change this? Because it's it's like you said with the koala exhibit that was built. I think it was actually built around the Australia right, right after the Australia Park. Yeah, so it's it's the same with this temple. It's been we're constantly fixing things and updating things and changing things and and just like the yeah. game does. And, and some so, habitats just just need to be changed at some point, yeah. <laughs> or just removed. <laughs> that, is, that, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... No, but for you, uh, I I really do hope everyone will enjoy like all of the work that has been put into Kuali so far, and that we are still going to put into Kuali. For sure, it's uh, it's a it's an amazing journey. Even though it's been taking some time. Wait, <laughs> is this being rebuilt as well? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm this... sorry. I, I should not. I think I was not allowed to show this because. <laughs> yeah, that, this this is something that I'll show in my next episode. So. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm giving too sneak, many sneak peeks sneak, here. Sneak peeks. It's fine. <laughs> Sp spoiler warning. Everything. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Yes. I'm just. I'm just floating around here, being like, man, everything looks so beautiful. It it's it's legit one of the most beautiful projects that I've, I I uh, think so I've yeah I, I will I, I said that with you uh, before yeah. we started recording already like it may maybe it's not like the best zoo even though of course I would say that but, uh, <laughs> it's, it's like there are incredible zoos oh, yes. online but it definitely is one of the best and one of the zoos yeah. that I'm still so proud of like yeah, I, I do i do agree with that like i there are a bunch of zoos like tivoli zoo by ruble and orwell by wyatt were mm -hmm, incredibly mm -hmm. incredibly beautiful and incredibly realistic and we'll we'll flat out admit it this zoo isn't always the most realistic one and that's perfectly fine <laughs> because sometimes but we still don't have polar bears at least <laughs> I oh, I wish there was a way, <laughs> um, but like like this park is one of the most beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful parks ever, and um, I I know that we sometimes say that he removes and replaces stuff a lot, but, but it's for the best. Like Mike, Mike knows how to how to make all of it shine, and that I mean he he yeah he knows what he's doing. 
he, if he removes something uh, or like, it sounds like remove something like, oh, I'm going to do it better. But no, but most he, of the time he just moves stuff and he's like, okay, yes. let's move this there and move this there. And like he, he knows how to make the puzzle pieces shine on their own. And yeah. Definitely. Let, let, and and, and he can just get like the reptile house that I built in the oh, beginning. Yeah. The reptile house, uh, I was already really proud of it. But when he, he, we're, we're talking about Mike. <laughs> He's like the devil and angel. But <laughs> <laughs> he just, he did interiors here that you're like, what? Yes. <laughs> this, this, was, this was actually what made me uh, get into interiors as well. This was the, this was the building that made me go, Okay, so interiors in this game are possible, and we're uh -huh. capable of doing crazy stuff. Um, yeah, that was the, that was the thing that that was the that did it for me. You see, this also definitely needs some aquatic rocks. <laughs> <laughs> this definitely was before that. But this is also one of the buildings that I still come back to and just be like, oh, how did he do these windows? How did he do that? Oh, yeah. What kind of pieces did he use for that? There's so much freaking inspiration in so many of these builds. See, I I'm, love it. I'm, I'm going to plug a series of mine a little bit because... Yes, I, go, I, go ahead. I have, I have a small series called How Do You Do? And I try to explain that because I also I also often get questions like how do you do something like that and how do you build this? So I simply mm -hmm. like it's not a piece by piece tutorial, but it's more like okay, this is my way of thinking. And I did one for the last episode as well. Uh, you can find it on my channel. Yes, with the Simings, right? Yes, exactly. So yes. that I just like I I want to like for a lot of people sometimes it feels like magic um, because it feels like we're doing super complex stuff, but. I really want to show in those videos, like, it's not super complex and it's not magic. I'll, I'll, it's just simple ways of thinking about pieces. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try to do more of those episodes in the future for my future I need to watch those. Ones. I, I need to start watching those. Like, I really need to know yeah, how it's, you do it's, things too. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all not... I, th I think the best tip that I can give anyone is simply, if you see a piece, don't say... Don't say, oh, that's a Siamang statue. No, that's a nice round shaped rock. Let's use it as a rock. <laughs> Just like look at the texture, look at the shape and let your mind do all kinds of mm -hmm, magic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's definitely also something I learned from Silverad, but like the very first videos he uploaded with Planet, Planet Coaster uh -huh. with the Alpha days and, and like, I think he had the game a few days before I had it and he inspired me to be or like to right away get the game too and he was like using windows upside down and I was like oh my gosh this yes. is opening up so many doors and possibilities it was just something that I never saw before in a game you could and say just the way up. how he did that, that yeah, it, it's crazy how how it's uh, just think out of the box with with certain yeah. pieces, and then you have like ten different pieces from exactly. one piece. Exactly. It's it's ridiculous, and I still am not that good at it. I think others are. I'm still using a lot of pieces just as the pieces as they are. But you, Rudy, Mike, Sylph, you are just all magicians when using pieces. I mean, yeah. It's insane. Well, well in, in, in that series, I, I just want to like take away a little bit of the magic so that you can see like it's 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 not it's not that difficult as it seems. Like for a lot of people, it seems like a huge hurdle to jump over, mm -hmm. but it's 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 really not that difficult. And I hope that in those videos, I can explain that a little bit. Yeah, so everyone, go and watch that series of Ruben. <laughs> how do go, you do? Is how how do called. you do? <laughs> how do you do? <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, just make sure in general to, to follow everyone. Like for now, I think uh, uh, definitely Eben, me and Rudy are the ones yes. that are building. I don't think 
so for us, so uh, no, he he doesn't have a new computer yet, does he? He does. He oh does, yes, he, he does. does because he's pl he's uploading Planet Coaster again. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> he went back to his first love. We can't keep him in this zoo. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. So hopefully, maybe we can convince him one day again to uh, jump into Kuali Zoo yeah. and uh, see if he uh, wants to add a beautiful building again or something uh, like he I'll, like he does the beautiful architecture. I'll I'll convince him. I'll, I'll get some Belgian beers up from over here and he'll. Yes. Be fine. <laughs> yes. Do that and also try and uh, see if Mike has some time again in the future too. But yeah, that's we it. are back with Kuali Zoo, and I mean that is already a huge tap forward <laughs> exactly <laughs> just uh just make sure to follow everyone with the links in the descriptions and uh yeah just enjoy it just sit back <laughs> relax and enjoy the beauty of what kawali zoo and planet zoo has to offer us um exactly. i can still enjoy it even though we're exactly. almost having the game for three years already i'm so not done with this game yet same same exactly mm. Love it. Thank you so much for joining me, Ivan. It really was a lot of fun. Yes, I loved it too. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, everyone, do let us know, of course, in the comments down below, what you all think of this new Koali Zoo episode. And if you're happy that the series is back. And also just let us know if you are one of those new people that had no idea about Koali Zoo. And uh, yeah, well, the playlist is in the description of this video. So if you ever feel some time, have some time like the coming months this summer <laughs> to maybe watch back all the 45 or so episodes, feel free to go and jump into uh, this uh, beautiful adventure, which we started like basically soon after launch. So it's uh -huh. been a really long running project, <laughs> it's but been a while. with a lot of love <laughs> and uh, a lot of passion and time Thanks. also. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. And of course, do not forget to subscribe to my channel as well if you want to see more Planet Zoo content because I definitely have you covered as well. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much, Eben, for joining me. It really Aww. was a pleasure. And uh, yeah, we just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Exactly. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.